In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide prices for specific product categories, user role and guests within WooCommerce using the request a quote plugin by WooSuite. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded and installed the WooSuite core plugin, the first thing you want to do is navigate to your account, click on add-ons. Once you've clicked on add-ons, you want to enable this particular plugin here, which says request a quote. Once you've installed it, toggle it to on and give it a few seconds. And then you'll see this manage button here. Let's go ahead and click on it before we go any further. First, let's have a look at our product page. So we've got two products here, which we'll be testing this product called single. And then we've got another product called Polo. So if we remember in the intro, I said we'll hide the price um, of a specific product um, category and also by the user role as well. So we'll go ahead and hide the price for this particular product called single. So let's navigate here back to our request a quote plugin. So I've already created a rule. So let's go ahead and ignore this for now. Let's delete it in fact. Okay, and then we wanna add a new rule okay and here we are we can name this rule this is just for internal purposes so we can say um, hide product okay that looks great and then here where it says rule type we can decide who we want to display this rule to so for now i'm going to set it to guest users so let's select guests we can set the rule priority between one and ten i'm going to select one and then here we get to choose um, whether we want to apply this particular rule to all products, um, a specific category or a specific product. So let's go ahead and search for single. And here we go, we can, we've got the single product here. That looks fine. And then here where it says high price, we want to toggle this option to yes. And then you can set the you can add a um, text in place of the price as well. So you can say um, the price is hidden. Okay, so I've set this to show that the price is hidden. Um, now we get to choose what we want to do with the add to cart button. Since we're hiding the price, we're going to go ahead and replace the add to cart button for a custom button instead. So it says replace add to cart with a custom button. We'll go ahead and select this. And here we can just leave this field blank, meaning nothing won't display. Let's go ahead and publish this particular rule. We've set it to only apply to guest users. So if we refresh this page, because we're logged in, we should be able to see the price as normal and that's working fine. Now I'm gonna open up incognito mode. Let's go ahead and paste our product. And then here you can see that the price is hidden and also we don't have an add to cart button as well. So that works perfect. Let's go back to this we're going to stick with this um, particular rule for now you can create multiple rules but just for this example i'm just i'm going to do all the example on this one particular rule so let's remove this and instead let's hide a product based on the particular category so we can see that this polo um, product is in the t-shirt category so here we can just go ahead and select t-shirt as the category and then we can just go ahead and update this particular rule. Okay, there's one one last thing as well. Um, since this is targeting guest users, again, we'll have to open up um, an incognito browser just to verify this rule. So here we can see that this particular product's hidden because it's in the t-shirt category. Okay, so when we go to this t-shirt category, we can also see that the prices are also hidden for all the products within this category. So that works perfect as it should. Let's X this page off. And then let's go ahead and target a specific user role. So currently I'm logged in the site as admin. So let's change this to registered users. And then here we want to go ahead and select administrator as the user role. You can choose any other um, user role you want. And you can choose multiple as well. I'm going to set um, the rule this time to apply to all products and I'm gonna keep everything as it is. The price is hidden, and we've also replaced the add to cart button with essentially nothing. 
So let's update this rule. And then here when we refresh this page, the price should be hidden because I'm logged in as administrator. Okay, so that works perfect. So if we go ahead and copy this particular product, now if we visit the site as a guest user, then we should see, be able to see the price and the add to cart button perfectly. So that works fine. So, so far we've gone through how to hide the price for a specific product, a specific category, a specific user role, and also guest users. So this brings us to a close for this video. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment in the comment box below and also consider liking and subscribing to the channel.